The mission is to save lives with fresh food. And Mike Lever talked with the local founder of a now global company, and tonight's something good. It's a national agricultural program with roots right here in Northeast Oklahoma City. We've been over here in this community serving for 16 years. Dr. Tammy Gray Steele started the National Women in Agriculture Sustainable Science Academy in February of 2008. Black women specifically did not or do not have a place at the table or not heard or respected as far as what we contribute to the agriculture industry as a whole. And in just 16 years, the program has grown worldwide. We literally have 60 plus chapters here in the United States and 20 plus over in Africa. In addition to providing locally grown foods to the community, they are now relaunching their school and daycare program that was paused due to COVID. Child care takes the children from six weeks old all the way to 18. So therefore, when they turn 18, they'll have a trust fund. Students in the program learn the value of agriculture as well as a normal school curriculum. Our children will be coming out by the age of five being bilingual. But none of this happens without funding locally and nationally. We now have a bipartisan sponsored bill that's going to the floor in the next few weeks. It's called the Minority Women and Children Equity and Inclusion Act. And Dr. Tammy needs the community's support. It's going out to our website and signing on to our petition. We're trying to meet, reach the 5,000 mark before the bill is introduced because of the children. Now, for more information about the daycare or the funding bill, we'll have a link with this story on our website. A program providing options and support for women and children of color. That is something good. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma Zone.